So, welcome back to the channel. I got a little uh, carried away with here. Uh, and I've already started on uh, Hafton hanging the sacks. That one right there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So, we're going to be hanging an axe today. It's a true temper, Kelly Perfect. With a great ring to it. So, uh, let's jump into it. Anyway, like I said, I got carried away with it. Uh, like I normally do, but I've already got a fit on here ish. It's tight, it's really tight here, or not so much here now because I took quite a bit off of the sides. But we just got to work on the flat, the top, bottom, whatever you want to call that. And uh, well, since I've already tried to halfway start on it, we'll just check it. We'll just see what happens when we slam this down here. Alright. We're crooked as all get out. So, I'll probably want to pull some off of that side. Like a lot. I think we're crooked. Yeah, we're crooked. But we're getting some we're getting some curl in there. This is a uh, this is a beaver tooth handle, or yeah, beaver tooth handle. By the way, just in case anybody wanted to know. Anyways, back at it. We got a little bit of curl there, so we need to take that off. I need to work on this side a little bit in here, both sides. So using a draw knife. just for shaping purposes uh, just to get somewhere faster in sanding but I do do a lot of work sanding it's honestly way easier than sitting there draw knifing or using a spoke shave I have to try to find a different angle here. Cause I think I was shaking you pretty bad. Yeah, I was shaking y'all pretty bad with that setup right there. sharper draw knife what do you guys think it's sharp it's just not it's just not as sharp as i like it something i'm gonna have to figure out i need better this landscape puck ain't it ain't good enough for sharpening no uh, draw knives i don't think anyway Thank you. 
folks. I've zoomed you out. But we're there. Look at that little shorty. Fits an old camera frame. <laughs> These are 28 inch handles. And uh, it's going to be about an inch shorter. So I just I want to be at like at least halfway there. We're over halfway. We're over halfway. A little bit over halfway. That's good enough for me. It ain't got to be perfect. Uh, let's burn it. Let's burn it. Yeah, let's go ahead and burn it. Man, quick sand it. Knock off all any edges. Move back all flammable objects. And out all my head spots there. Yeah. It's not a bad deal. Put a wedge in it. Let's do it. All right. I got a small gap there. Uh, let's see if we can close her up. It's all right. We got decent shroom now. I'm gonna attempt to follow this line.
that didn't turn out too bad. A little boiled linseed oil on it there. Didn't get a whole lot of it for you because I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But for not uh, hanging an axe in a, quite some time, this turned out pretty decent on this 28 inch handle, which is probably about 27 inch now, but it looks so dumb. I love it though. It's odd. It's an intellectual's axe, but uh, for short people, maybe. Anyway, as always, folks, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see more of you here. Uh, and I'll be hanging some more axes here soon. So, anyway, y'all folks take care and uh, have you a good week.